Hello my dearies and welcome back to the Lotus Studios. My name is Sacred Lotus and today I'm doing another speed paint. Um, I'm going to be drawing some unicorn art. Let's get started. <laughs> Right, um, the, I mean, those of you, for those of you who don't know, um, Junicorn is one of the, one of them, year, one of them month long art challenges where you draw a picture every day according to the theme of the challenge. Junicorn, it, the theme of Junicorn is to draw a unicorn picture for every day of the month of June. But I didn't have time to do a unicorn picture every day because I had a couple of other things planned to do for the channel for this month. So I thought along with my art study I will use it to work my way up to drawing unicorns because in a way they fall under the category of equine animals and so I thought that unicorn would match the theme and vice versa for you for the equine animals because I did try drawing unicorns freehandedly without any practice and what I what came what I produced wasn't very good the le the limbs looked odd the neck was a weird, the necks were a weird, a weird shape and the horns were like too thick too like too 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 thick in in width or or however you measure the the roundness of of, of a animal's horn so when i started the art study just this month I felt it best to start with the equine animals and I feel like I'm repeating myself now uh, so after I had been at it with the, ho the horses practicing drawing their bodies and the shapes of their heads I started to experiment with ideas for the unicorn piece that I had planned to do this month and there were a couple of things I I was gonna at first I was gonna draw the unicorn in the same style I draw the sacred lotus avatar with string neck arms and legs and other ideas I would draw a bit more bit more realistic with proper arms and legs proper body and I was gonna ha I was uh, experiment with different positions and in the end the one I went with seemed to work the best The drawing the unicorn in this piece was the easy part. Um, the background, however, was a little tricky because I wanted the unicorn to be the main part of the picture, so everything else behind it would be just 
the assisting role or something like that. It would be like the backup for the main chunk of the of the piece. So I feel like it didn't t the background in this piece didn't turn out as well as I wanted. Because I want I tried mixing coloured pencils and felt marker and cut co and coloured markers. As you'll see as the uh, speed paint progresses to that section. I wanted the unicorn to pop a little so I, I outlined it with my Unipin Unipin um, multi liner. And I wanted also wanted the um main of the unicorn to have movement so I had it whipped out behind it to show its gloriously colourful it's gloriously colourful mane. I also wanted to make the unicorn look like it was about to get ready to gallop off somewhere, hence why it's looking off into the distance over the hill. As if it's getting ready to race, like an eagle or something. Much so, sort of inspired by um, the spirit movie about the wild horse. Um, and as, as I was also trying to practice, wanted to practice um, blending techniques or something with my pencils. So I tried um, several different shades of some of the same colours. I did different colours in places for shading. Um, at one point, I wanted to. I, I had thought of um, giving the unicorn rainbow coloured mane but then I thought that would might might be too much so I kept two three main colours for its hair for its mane and tail and gave it gold hooves and horn and keeping majority all of its coat completely white with a bit of grey for the shading I roughly sketched in the background, like for the trees and 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 the leaves, and I decided to go in later with the coloured pencil and let the root appear where they wanted to try and make them look like they were natural they naturally grew and they weren't just straight up sticks
I went through so many different shades of the same colour trying to get the right shading for like the trees in the background. And I mixed like a couple of different colours for the leaves of the trees and to try and separate them because 
I just like I coloured in the shape of the tree as a of the treetop as a whole rather than the individual leaves and I went in a bit later with a coloured marker to dot in some possible leaves although I don't know whether the markers made it or break it um, it's probably a picture I'd have to redo one day because when it was finished I wasn't 100% fit, fat, fat satisfied with it although I think I nailed the unicorn the background didn't seem to suit it so I would probably have to redo it again in the future and put the unicorn in a different scene I had originally maybe thought to put the unicorn in an open field like in front of a lake or something but I felt that would probably be too generic so I went with the hilltop scene with the unicorn on a dirt path It probably sense when looking at back at the picture it gives me a sense that the, that the, the unicorn has sense like people come in it's track it's getting ready to move out of the way so it's not seen by um, ordinary people because being a, such a rare creature it doesn't want to get trapped by the hand of man and to end up being hunted for a trophy or anything like that. Because I could imagine what that's what m some people would do if they came across such an unusual creature in the wild. Some people would welcome a sight of a of a of a, of a of a of a living unicorn, while others would probably see it as an opportunity to exploit and make money from it. I can imagine a whole bunch of poachers and hunters seeing it as, as, as a as a massive opportunity to make a quick buck and as awful as that thought would be it is a harsh reality and I've suddenly gone f from talking a very light happy subject and it seems to turn to a morbid one for some reason I don't know how I got that way so um so I don't go off too much into a tangent and talk about doom and gloom things of what would happen to a unicorn if it did real, if it was real. I'm going to leave it here. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. I'll let you enjoy the music and I will see you all next time. See you later.
Well, my dearies, that is it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And please hit the subscribe button. It really is appreciated. I make all channel up updates on Facebook and Twitter. And all my arty related stuff get posted on Newgrounds, DeviantArt and Instagram. I'll leave the links for all those in the description box. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again. All, all again. Bye bye.